Hey everyone, it's a Brown. I'm just sitting here, just relaxing in the studio. I guess you can't really call this an official episode because it's really not, but I don't know, I was bored and I just wanted to do something. So I just started playing around with my devices and, and got the idea to, to try a, a multi-cam app. Uh, I used to use VisiWig, which is a pretty good app. Uh, I think that's the only one that I've ever used for iOS. Uh, the app is called uh, Rico Studio multi-cam and basically enables you to record with multiple devices and that's kind of what i'm doing right now so um, i'm using i'm i'm staring at my iphone right now which i have set up in front of me uh, i have my ipad that's a little further away and the ipad should give you a sense of how my whole setup is here i mean nothing really fancy i'm just on the computer uh, i have my ipad over in this direction here and i have another iphone uh, an older iPhone. Actually, the first iPhone that came out with the gold color, uh, which I believe is the iPhone 5S, that's the one I have, on a little mount uh, just in front of my computer to my right. And I thought I would just play around with the three different cameras to see uh, how they look, number one, and to kind of give you a, a sense as well as how the app works when you're swipping, switching back and forth. So what I'm going to do is start by switching to my iPad. This will give you a chance to see uh, what my situation looks like with all the cameras set up. So you can't see the iPad because I just switched to that one, but you can see how the other two cameras are set up, uh, one on the uh, side of my desk and one also uh, on the, the front of my desk. And I'm able to switch back and forth between these two cameras uh, in the same way that I'm able to switch back between this camera and the one that uh, you're looking at or through right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch from the iPad camera that you're looking at now. Uh, and I'm gonna switch to this camera over here and you just do it by simply tapping on the thumbnails that are on screen. And what's really nice too is that you can also switch back and forth between using different types of transitions. So right now I'm using a white transition I can see also too that my head's a little bit cropped, so maybe I lower the camera a little too much, but you kind of get the idea. But every time I tap on one of these thumbnails that's on screen here, it creates a white transition. You have about four or five different options for transitions, including cube, which is pretty cool. But so I'm gonna go back to now my first camera here, and now I'm able to face the camera that I was looking at originally, and now I'm gonna go back to my iPad camera is a little, a little further back here in the distance and I'm gonna go back to this iPhone camera that I have in front of my computer. And so you can see how very easy it works. The only thing that it really needs is to, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Uh, you need one device to be the switcher uh, and the rest of them would just have to be connected remotely. And it's really as simple as that. Um, I'm still using my standard Clip mic digital microphone uh, to record because it's just easy for me. And you know, the recording is pretty good for the most part. Um, switch back to this camera here. Yeah, but this is essentially how it works. Um, what I'm gonna do is, you know, if I can, uh, do some screenshots for you so you can kind of get a sense of what the user interface looks like. Uh, maybe I can put it up on screen now as I'm talking so you can kind of get a sense. Maybe I should even try and do a snapshot right now. Why I have the screen up, okay? I just took a snapshot. So hopefully I can fit this into uh, this little brief little recording that I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of having fun now. I'm gonna switch back and forth just so you can see just how easy it really is. Um, I, I kind of like this, this sort of fade in, fade out kind of approach to each scene. Uh, but like I said, there are uh, about four or five different transitions that you can use if you really want to be cool about it. So yeah, it's Rico Studio Multicam. Uh, the app is about $11.99 in the App Store, but once you get it, you can download it onto all your devices and play around with the multicam. It just has to be on the same Wi-Fi network, but it's, it's really fairly easy to use. What happens when you're done is that it will create a recording from each device and you'll see it in list view but they all belong to one project and then you'll see finally after each camera recording is downloaded that it will then composite them 
into one video. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go uh, while I play around with this thing a little bit more. Uh, my name is Tim Brown. Check me out next time.